Hello everyone. Uh, today we going to make one more video uh, because uh, my truck is uh, jumping and um, it show code for the sensor for the accelerator pedal sensor and it's about a couple years I still driving on this faulty sensor and uh, computer show also I have a code for this sensor but it's still working I, I tried to buy a new one and new one cost uh, 450 plus tax something like this and they not selling anymore the uh, just sensor they selling sensor attached to the pedal everything uh, one piece with wire and it's cost uh, four hundred fifty dollars and they're not selling what I did I ordered one from China uh, aftermarket one even it looks same like original one but there's no part number here and uh, when I when I install it and it doesn't work it's a red light on the on the dashboard stop engine and doesn't work I try to adapt it but it doesn't work when I check the here uh, and it show difference in ohms it's difference here when original and what I did today I went to the dealer again and I try uh, ask him before I went to the uh, Peterbilt dealer they they didn't help me I went again to my dealer Kenworth and what they said they tried to sell me whole thing I told maybe you have this one at home we're not selling anymore uh, separated only one piece and I asked this guy maybe you can help me some because I know it's too expensive for me I just don't have one. and he check in the computer uh, he find out uh, the original previous model of this truck using and they can sell it sensor. I bought it sensor from the dealer. This original. This one I bought it. And when I check by multimeter this connection, and this connection is looks like working properly because I know how how much resistance should be in the between the pins. And this one is totally different story because it looks like the inside the pot potentiometer only one here but this one has a two potentiometers which working together if one fail one is just working and I don't know why they are using two of them inside but this one looks like have one because this only uh, here you can measure something okay what right now I'm going to do I'm going to replace this one I'm not sure if it's uh, works or not works but it should work and this guy helped me a lot because he uh, he sold me only this one it's cost me about uh, 95 dollars or something and right now i will see he told me don't return it because we're not gonna accept it right now if it's not working i will lose i lose money on this one and right now on this one but they returned my money this one guy they returned but this one i don't know right now we're going to put it and we'll see what's going on okay we're going to replace this one okay. as we see the sensor is here and this is a connection uh, it's easier to not touch anything just to re remove this one I will try to remove this one from here now, I'm going to disconnect our wire Disconnect the wire. Okay. 
just use the flat screwdriver don't use your nail because you're gonna break it yeah, I already did once and like this pull it okay right now we can right now before we move it, we can check if this one is going to work we're gonna connect it here without anything we're just going to connect this one and see if this one is gonna adapt it we're gonna turn on the key okay as you can see the red light is gone it's mean the sensor gonna work okay we're gonna turn off and now we're gonna try to disconnect from here the sensor I don't know no, this one doesn't work Okay, this is our original one. I'm gonna put it aside. And I'm gonna put it back this one. Okay guys, right now I install it. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but looks like the red light stop engine is gone. And right now I'm gonna start the engine and see, uh, not even disconnect whole pedal. I just <laughs> remove this piece, I remove it and put it back on two screws and put it back. Right now we're gonna start and see, I'm not putting it back the cover put in back cover just just in case if it's not gonna start or something okay as you can see the light is gone can see the engine works fine and right now I'm gonna explain you if you if you go to the dealer and you have a problem with your accelerator pedal if you have a truck 2008 and new like first generation with DPF filter they're gonna offer you whole pedal is gonna cost you $450 but uh, what I did I just bought the sensor from them for previous year it's about 2007 and this 2007 is works I just replaced all this thing it cost me $95 and and you can save money because money is hard for us to make it like if you're working as a truck driver owner operator it's 
it's cost a lot of money and I'm happy this one is work for me and thanks the guy who gave me because before I tried them ask them to give me something but they they didn't but this this time the guy give me this part and it's working and and thank you for help me and okay guys I, I hope this video help you if you have your accelerator pedal problem it's helped you to save some money and see you next time bye now